this is quick news in five minutes with Doug. So today we are the government and anyone basically is telling you and U.S. citizens that we should be quarantined. We should be taking a break from seeing each other, um, which we'll see how it goes. We're make tests will be available soon. I'm pretty sure there are some out still. We hopefully we can get a vaccine or something to stop this in a month or two. So it that's the best case scenario is either it just becomes a seasonal flu or we have a vaccine to stop this and it just ends. Um, it's interesting to see how experts and research researchers are um, thinking about this. Some say that once it goes through everyone, it'll basically be gone. Some say it'll be a seasonal flu. Some say that like when we get the vaccines out, it'll be all um, all year, just not as much. Uh, I don't really know which one. Yesterday I made the mistake of saying that Denmark is a total free-for-all for anyone under 70. That's not true. There are actually a lot of people in quarantine. I'm sorry that I said that. That's not true. Um, so another thing that's happening big is Trump got called out for calling, or Democrats told, said that he was racist for calling coronavirus the um, Chinese flu, which it is not racist. We didn't call the Spanish flu racist. We didn't call um, the Asian flu racist. It's not. He's talking about the where it started. There's actually been a lot of diseases that have hap started in China, like the Asian flu in 1956, SARS in 2002, H7N9, um, 10 years after SARS, and then COVID-19 now. I don't exactly know which other ones, but calling it the um, Chinese flu is not racist. Uh, he's just saying that's where it started, and we we really need to be taking serious about this. The food markets in China, I heard, I don't exactly know for sure, but they said that eating the exotic wildlife there, are like bats and snakes and rats, are causing the diseases to re to re um, go public and whatever. So I heard one story where they were saying it came from a lab where they were accidentally mix mixing um, d two diseases and it turned into three, and a rat got it. And so when they sold that rat to eat at the food market, uh, it got out or whatever. I don't exactly know. I don't think there is a true story on how it happened um, yet. No one knows for sure. The Chinese government was jailing people that were talking about it early stages. I don't know if they still are. Um, so that, I think we just need to be questioning whether what we're going to do about this, maybe make the food markets illegal or do something with China to realize, put China in quarantine because they have started a lot of diseases and it's just not helping anyone. Um, so... I heard this thing early on the news today that basically everything was, um, all the restaurants, all the bars, a lot of things were going, or a lot of places were shutting down for coronavirus, which is probably the correct thing to do. Everyone should have at least probably two weeks worth of supplies or food. Um, probably not water. I don't think the tap will go out your tap water will go out, um, toilet paper, um, what's it called, um, napkins, anything like that, you should probably have a good supply of, because we don't know if, um, right now these stores are saying that they're pretty good with food, but who knows if they'll go out too, because the, uh, government wants them out, Trump will be, he said he'll be giving money to people, uh, 2000 I think, maybe more, $300 billion to small businesses, to some small businesses. Um, so, yeah, it's just interesting to see how everyone is taking this coronavirus differently. There's beaches um, in Florida where college students are taking this seriously at all. So, I saw videos of them at the beach. They're just 
playing around, talking with each other as close as can be. Um, I know the beach in Florida where they all were, they're going to be shutting down, but in a week. So there's still a ton of people there that are getting it or that are together. Um, so, yeah, I've gone over my limit. I will see you tomorrow with more news. Hopefully I can talk about something that's not coronavirus related. Um, but, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>